Hello, every folks, and welcome to another uh, Synergy of the Day. Uh, today we're doing one that I like to call the spiderweb. So, here's what we do. We have, let's say, a heavy unit. We've got, uh, like, I don't know, let's say a phoenix, or we've got uh, some kind of the, uh, just basically any heavy unit whatsoever, right? So, our problem is they got a big, big health bar, and we want big health bar to be little problem. So, here's what we do. Uh, we go ahead and we take a look at our options. Obviously, we want to poison that. You know, poison is going to affect big stuff a lot, a uh, lot more potently. So, we go over here, we go over to our ninja. And so, you know, we have our uh, obvious thing. You know, we put our envenom on there, and we put our uh, blowgun on there. Now, personally, I like going for the uh, the envenom uh, on the uh, on the spells, as well as the uh, the standard blowgun over here. Now, technically, there is also the option. I don't remember if I have it on this particular one right here. Uh, looks like we, uh, we do. But technically speaking, you do have the option to simply go like like min max into uh, into blowguns. So if you're in venom rolls, you use your uh, poison blowgun, and if you're in venom rolls, you use your standard blowgun. That's entirely up to you. Uh, in this particular case, I'm just gonna stick with the swords because I like this uh, look over here. So anyway, uh, we then go ahead and look at the uh, finishers here, and we see that we actually have backup plans for in venom anyway. So we've got in venom from our weapon. That's gonna be guaranteed as long as the shot hits, given their incredibly high agility and the fact that uh, tip, uh, typically accuracy is going to have an advantage in this version. Uh, something like uh, like just. Your your basic attack is usually going to hit unless you're, you know, for example, trying to shoot from inside the water or some such. Um, but if you need a backup plan, there is always the uh, the finisher version through uh, Venom Sting down here. So we already have a means of applying poison, but we want to make sure that that thing is not a threat in the meantime. We don't want it just flailing around and attacking stuff. I mean, granted, there's a pretty decent chance that that stun is going to roll from that blowgun, but in case it doesn't, we need a backup plan here. So we're going to go ahead and go down to Salad Snake over in this direction, and uh, we have our Juggernaut here. So we have uh, Steadfast, uh, we have uh, Check, and we have Threaten. The reason we have th these three together, Threaten's going to get rid of MP if they have any ranged attacks, and it's additionally going to put on Silence if they like to do any casty stuff and happen to have anything cheap. Uh, check is going to be there for the purpose of applying stop, and then Steadfast is going to make sure that they're not pushed out of position. But wait a minute, this is only going to trigger at the start of your turn. Correct. That's why we're going to go ahead and apply some casters into this as well. Now, currently I'm using the uh, the Lord for this, but you can apply any casters for this, um, whether you want to uh, you know charge up with a spell charge, whether you want to use an MP stick or what have you. Paradigm Shift is going to uh, cost 100 MP, and it's going to be something that allows you to have a 66% uh, chance to use that caster to reset up to 5 turns at once. So this would effectively mean that if we put them into position, uh, we essentially use our paradigm shift wherever we happen to use it. There's really no reason to limit yourself to only one character using it. Um, then we can go ahead and pretty much lock in our uh, our odds of going and applying both, well, stop, uh, getting rid of MP, as well as silence at the same time, while also making sure that that poison is still ticking. At that point, this, uh, this loop should already be complete. They're already getting poisoned. We simply have that ninja run around, doing whatever they feel like doing, and then occasionally reapplying that poison. This guy sits still, and he just continues attacking. Now, a fun little thing that you can do with this is that you can actually uh, go and apply uh, your shortbow here as well. If you want to just go ahead and run uh, shortbow and shield on this character, uh, for example, if you want to apply more silence at a distance, if there were a lot of uh, other uh, uh, kind of uh, caster type of units around, or if you just wanted to have a quick stun, you can go for something like the uh, lightweight stunning shortbow. Uh, the Damask bow will do that same thing, by the way. It's just a bit heavier. In this particular case, it's going to be faster to shoot this bow. Again, you know, 18 RT for this one. Damask bow would be 25 RT to shoot. The upgraded one, I think, is like 27. Um, it's, again, it's not a huge difference. It's going to be the difference of about two tiles worth of movement. But in this particular case, he can park himself right next to that unit, and he can keep just taking quick turns, not moving anywhere, reapplying that stop over and over and over, holding that unit down uh, while that poison does its job. All right? So, good little uh, kind of effective way to, uh, to keep using this over and over. Uh, bear in mind, if you... Um, if you wanted to, you could also just continuously reapply this with poison as well, uh, though it is uh, worth noting that uh, if you're applying the scorpion strategy, um, you're going to want to prob... Well, I mean, you at that point, if it's already applied, you might as well just keep on stabbing. You're right there. Uh, the recovery time is going to be a bit higher on this weapon, though, uh, which may mean that uh, they might potentially get that, uh, that turn off and be able to escape from the stop, which you don't want to happen. So ideally, you know, ideally you want to go for uh, for something like uh, just going and attacking other stuff in the meantime, letting the ninja take their guaranteed poisons. That'll make this loop very, uh, very useful. And this is particularly handy in cases where, you know, you're later on in Palace of the Dead, you see some of those really, really bulky units, and you definitely don't want to be fighting those things directly. I mean, they're going to be neutral, they're going to be attacking everyone, they're just weird agents of chaos, and that's just fun, but... Um, 
But either way, if you see these like monsters coming in 15 levels higher than you, just take advantage of that uh, you know 4,000 health health bar to give them 400 damage uh, uh, ticks from poison. And you'll be all good to go. Um, if you want to additionally uh, just replace the ninja with something a bit more bulky, you could also go for a Hydra uh, using a combination of Dragon's Eye as well as Poison Breath to continuously apply this. And while this is going to apply to all of them, bear in mind at any point, if you ever need to have another MP solution, just keeping everybody's MP topped off for any one of these strategies, just don't forget to how good a uh, Lich uh, running Salvation can be because they'll essentially just uh, go and, well, average out everyone's MP. If you're not using them for anything other than cheap ability, um, like, for example, you could easily go and replace something like a Word of Pain over here with something as simple as a uh, Poison Cloud. That's going to be very cheap. They can run a, uh, a profit on their MP every round. They can continuously keep uh, melting stuff away at a distance while also keeping the units around them recharged. So they're a very effective uh, unit for that. Anyway, so that will be about that. Um, I guess if you want to get more complicated with it. Uh, you could always uh, apply something like a uh, Cyclops to it as well. Uh, you could uh, use uh, something like Stinky Feet to keep rolling for a chance to stop, though it's not going to be as consistent. And additionally, if you want to uh, to switch out the rolls entirely, like let's say you wanted to have the Juggernaut applying the poison, you could always uh, go and uh, swap out for uh, something like Concentration over here, and then continuously have this uh, ninja go and uh, drop their Shadow Bind. This also works, and whenever Concentration rolls, it'll also be 100%. Um, I just feel like this has a few more extra steps, though it does work at range, so there's that. Anyway, y'all have yourselves a good one. Uh, go ahead and give it a shot sometime, and take care. Bye.